are going to be featuring the pretty much only team that I'm going to be using for the rest of the season in the Catch Cup because I have no good Pokemon lying around that I've recently caught in my bag. So the Primeape has been invested in it and I've actually done a video on it. So the video should be popping up right about now. And the Whiskash, I didn't get it from Barboat Spotlight Hour, but I did a rate the day after and then got a rank 915 Whiskash. So that is pretty good for me. And then the Skarmory is a purified Skarmory. I got a 01313 Skarmory from a Grunt the other day. And I was never going to power up, never going to TM away. Frustration on it. So I just decided to purify it because, first of all, it would be better PvP IVs. And second of all, the normal Skarmory is going to be better than the Shadow Skarmory. Simple as that. So they have an Obstagoon in the back. We're just going to be coming in with Whiskash and cleaning up. And before you go any further into the video, if you have not already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and slap that notification bell. Also, make sure to share this video with your friends so we can make more videos for you. Okay, so we're just going to be mud shotting down that Obstagoon and taking the win right there. Moving on to the next battle. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. And yeah, so we've got Primeape on the lead versus a Incinerate Kanto Rapidash. So we're going straight for the Night Slash here after three Incinerates, which is going to be the, to the first drill run. And we're shielding up actually what is a Flame Charge. They're coming in with Altaria. Yeah, we're going to Skarmory, which is kind of a misplay because you'll see what they have in the back and Skarmory can really hard counter it. Plus the Whizcash would be a better answer. I just thought Skarmory's steel, steel type, so it will resist the Dragon Breaths from Altaria. Yeah. Um, as well as the Sky Attack, so I just went in that. And Whiskash only wins again Altaria. If you can bait with the Mud Bomb, then land the Blizzard, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can get to two Blizzards. I haven't simmed that yet. So they're coming in with the Kanto Rapidash. We're coming in with our Whiskash. I suspect that was a Flame Charge. And they have a Whimscott in the back. So if I swap my Whiskash against that Altaria, I would have my Skarmory lined up against that Whimscott and the Primeape still lined up against that Rapidash. But this is a 5-0 set. So you're going to see me pulling off this win. So we're going for a Blizzard. I don't know why I didn't go for Mud Bomb. I don't know. I just wanted to be safe. But we're going to be able to Mud Shot down before that second Incinerate goes through. If they had like 0.2 more seconds on that, they probably would have KO'd me. So we've got a Whizcash lead. And we're getting some lag here which is very unfortunate but like i said before this is a 5-0 set so we're gonna be able to pull off the win um so they're going for the mud bomb i don't want to shield quite yet but what i do want to do here is i want to shield this uh build up a bunch of energy and once i finally do that swap in a skarmory to catch the mud bomb that is going to be not very effective and not doing that much damage so they're going to be swapping into a hypno we're going for our sky attack since that's the only charge move we have we are gonna be getting a shield which is nice for us because sky attack wouldn't do all that much to hypno fire punch is gonna be doing super effective damage but not enough to threaten our skarmory and make a shield and we're just gonna be letting this fire punch go through because there's no point in shielding we can come in with whisk cash and go straight for the mud bomb which we are gonna do here they were just about to get to a charge move so what happens here is that they shield, and we're going in with Primeape to Night Slash them, but they swap into their own Whizcash to catch it. And I was panicked here. I got the boost, but I just went for this Night Slash. Uh, we didn't use any of the bubbles because we wanted to get that one extra counter, which is going to come in clutch, as you saw right here. We're going to be getting to a Night Slash, and then they are going to be having a normal Machamp in the back, not a Shadow one. And then we're just going to go for a Blizzard, which will one-hit KO. So I'm going to save Shield here. Just going to be a Cross Chop. Nothing too harmful. If they had another Cross Chop right now, um, it would still be fine. Because uh, Whizcash is pretty bulky, so it will survive. And the good thing about Whizcash right here is that it's really good in Open Great League or Normal Great League. So it's like a double investment. It's really good in the Catch Cup as well as the normal great lead. So we've got another Whizcash on the lead. Whizcash is going to be pretty weak to those counter users and obviously grass type Pokemon. So 
Primeape and I think we can win the matchup right here. So we get a shield on the Night Slash, which is fantastic. And then we're shielding this Mud Bomb. We're going for another Night Slash right here. Um, This isn't going to be KOing. But we're going to be able to counter down. They have a Wimspot in the back. And that didn't really matter if I went for the Night Slash or Close Combat. But uh, they're swapping into a uh, Kanto Rapidash now. And we have our own Whizcast, which is going to be another wall to that Kanto Rapidash. So at this point, it's a GG because Skarmory will easily counter that Whimscott. And then the Whizcast will easily counter the Kanto Rapidash. So um, they're coming in with their Whimscott. I don't care if, about the Mud Bomb. Um, but we're just going to be going for the Sky Attack. And it's going to be taking out the Whimscott. And that is going to be a GG to my opponent. Moving on to the next battle. We're maxed up again to do Mankey. Primate time. No, you're running Skarmory because Mankey evolves enough. Primate, get it? <laughs> okay, so this might seem like a bad matchup, but all in all, it is not that bad of a matchup because if you bait with Night Slash and shield that Sky Attack, you can then go for the close combat, which will be KOing the Skarmory. So, now we're going to be going for this close combat. Going to be getting shielded, okay? Um, But Skarmory via Skarmory is not going to be too threatening to one Skarmory because they're both not very effective to each other. So um, this Sky Attack, they're going to be chipping away. And I know I could have formed more, but I just went for my own Sky Attack. Like, they just chip away a lot, a lot more than you think. So they have a Kanto Raichu in the back. Um, we're going into our Whizcash, but they have a Whizcash of their own. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of Whizcash because it is going to be pretty good. And there's the Barboat Spotlight Hour, so <laughs> you can't really play that. So, um, right here, we're not going to be shielding. Actually, we are going to be shielding. We didn't shield the first thing because even if it was Blizzard, it wouldn't have KO'd. So, we're going for a Mud Bomb. And then we have um, our Whizcash lined up against this. Kanto Raichu, Brick Break is not going to do any damage at all. And we're just going to be going for the Smud Bomb. This won't KO, um, but I just want to come with my Skarmory and flex. And when this video is being recorded, I was thinking like, haha, in my video I'm going to say Skarmory beats Raichu confirmed, but they hit me with the Wild Charge. So I'm going to be forced to come in with my Whizcash and take them out. So we're getting a 5-0 set. I like my Penny Nap, my Chops, even though this one's horrible IVs. Um, so we're just going to be getting all that nice rewards. And um, this next battle is part of the 4-1 set. The rest of the battles got cut out. Sorry for that. We've got two more bonus battles at the end. So we've got a great leader swapping into Amanda Buds. That is going to be 1174 CP. Um, okay. Uh, but we're just coming in with Skarmory. And this is not going to do that much. Because it is going to be an aerial ace. And Amanda Buds is a very low attack stat. Plus, it is 1174 CP. They have a Flygon that's 1348 CP. Okay, so we're coming in with Skarmory. Or we didn't come in. We already had it there. But they didn't shield that Sky Attack, interestingly enough. Uh, we're not going to shield the Stone Edge. Didn't do as much as I thought. Uh, but they have that Alolan Sand Slash in the back. At this point, it's GG. Because after the Sky Attack, I'm going to be coming in with my Primeape. And then counter down. So, that is just going to be a good game right there. Uh, we're just gaining that 4-1. Uh, we get an Azelf right here. It's super annoying. Because I just got one from Raid Hour and they take so long to catch. Day 2. Okay. I just put in the clip where I actually catch it. So our Golden Raz in this thing ran out of Ultra Balls. But now we're going to be hitting the grate right here. And finally, I am so brave. I got it. <laughs> so we're just going to be um, claiming our rewards. And let's move in. To the final two battles so we've got a pretty good lead um the counters will be doing super effective to the scrafty but their counters will be not doing super effective in kind plus we resist a foul play this was too quick to be a foul play so i'm just letting it go through it's a power up punch right here i'm going for my night slash gets a shield and we get the boost um we're gonna be able to counter down but we simultaneous ko um the good thing about it um the simultaneous ko is that we want switch advantage because they came in with their pokemon first I think that's technically you one switch advantage. Um, but if we like had our prime ape, their Skarmory would have gotten more farm than mine. So it's technically the good that they, we simultaneous KO'd because they went in with their Skarmory first. Okay, 
So we're letting this sky attack go through. We're going for our own sky attack, building up to almost two. And uh, we're just coming in with their whiz, our whiz cash, and they have their own whiz cash. We're going straight for the blizzard. I don't care if this goes through. I have one more shield them. It does go through though, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not shielding. No, <laughs> it's just the mud bomb. Let's go. So we're just gonna be going for our own mud bomb. We can shield whatever we want, <laughs> but um. We have that Skarmory, which is going to be a pretty good answer to the Whiz Cash because it will risk the Gramlers. And the only thing it can fight back with is going to be that Blizzard, which you need two of them with. So it's not looking too good for them. Um, so we're coming in with our Skarmory right here. Uh, they're coming in with their Skarmory. And then we're just going to be air slashing this Whiz Cash down. And that is going to be a GG. Moving on to the final battle of the video. Um, I was checking if I was screen recording there. So we've got another fantastic lead, double super effective with the counters, and they're staying in, which tells me they have something in the back that is going to be weak to Primeape. Even though it was an Ice Punch, I, I am going to be shielding there. And they have a Wigglytuff. I'm going for a Night Slash to bait them, and then I'm going to be able to get to a close combat, which will do about 85% to Wigglytuff. That's why... Um, close combat is so good because it will do neutral damage to the Wigglytuff. So we're going for, um, our Whizcash and they have an Umbreon in the back. I know I'm gonna win, but Umbreon's just so dang tanky that it's gonna take forever to win right here. So we're just letting this foul play go through. And of course, of course, of course, of course, when I go for the dang Blizzard right here, they're gonna be shielding so i'm just coming in with skarmory and it, it's a gg i just need two sky attacks why do you have to be so tanky umbreon so mean so we're just gonna be going for the first sky attack um obviously he doesn't have any shields so it's gonna be connecting and then just to flex on him we're letting this go through and we're getting a lag but then he surrendered finally surrender come on bro there <laughs> okay so, this team was pretty good. If you're struggling in the Catch Cup, definitely recommend this because it is going to be pretty good if you have these Pokemon invested in. I'm looking forward to Season 6, which my next video is going to be in. And I hope you guys liked today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!